The aura of happiness surrounding the signature of the six-pack on economic governance last autumn has proved short-lived. Not content with the six-pack, the EU's crisis-proofing measures continue with two new bills, rather originally called the two-pack. It would plug the gaps of the previous package by giving bankruptcy protection and more supervisory powers over national budgets to Brussels. A taboo subject, but one that seems to be gathering supporters. If you look at the summit last week, it was not only about Spain or Greece and Portugal and all these countries, it was, it was also about growth. And, and I think everyone realises that we have to stop the bleeding. We need uh, different measures and perhaps even stronger measures to get Europe to grow. Enhanced surveillance by the Commission would apply to the countries who have received EU bailout funds. At present, Greece, Ireland and Portugal. Non-compliance with budgetary rigour would result in a suspension of funds, which drew criticism from the left. However, a debt redemption fund is being considered to help countries in difficulty. The man in charge of one of the bills has proposed bankruptcy protection to defaulting countries, an idea that has raised eyebrows. Le fait de prévoir un régime juridique spécial ne créera pas la faillite, mais pour tous ceux qui sont les partenaires de l'État en difficulté, il vaut mieux savoir à l'avance de quelle façon se passeraient les choses en cas de difficulté, plutôt que de vivre comme on le fait aujourd'hui, au jour le jour, et au gré de 16 sommets de la dernière chance, essayer de mettre en place un dispositif qui encore n'est pas efficace. An end to crisis summits would certainly be welcomed by weary EU leaders. A vote on the two-pack is pencil for May. The aim is to adopt the regulations before the summer recess. That is, if everyone is in agreement.